here on the Marsden Estate which is owned by the National Trust. We're looking at different gully blocking techniques on a project which is funded by Yorkshire Water and Natural England. Gullies are formed when the surface vegetation is lost. This is normally due to years of atmospheric pollution, wildfires and overgrazing. Once the surface is bare, the wind and the rain in the winter causes channels to form on the bare peat and in the summer that bare peat dries out and it cracks, leading to even bigger channels forming. Over time, accelerated erosion creates big deep gullies which is not good for the health of the moorland. We're trying to block up some of these gullies. We want to keep the water and the peat up here on the moorlands and that's really, really important for drinking water and for the habitat. We're using different types of materials to try and stop that process happening. This is a heather bale dam. It's one of the most natural types of dams that we use and we use it to trap the bare peat and the water on the moorlands. Without this dam here, this would have been an area of bare peat and the sediment and the water would have been running off the moorlands. So to hold that peat and the water on the moorlands, we use these heather bales, which are made in exactly the same way that you would make small hay bales. We transport them onto the moors by helicopter and install them into the ground and stake them to hold them in place. This is the very beginning of gully formation. You can see on the bare peat that the water is starting to run along and make channels. So this is where we would be looking to put in some heather bales to stop that process. This is a wooden dam. It's made out of untreated timber, so it's the most natural type of wood that we can use. We use wooden dams to trap the sediment. As you can see, during bad weather when the rain's been really falling, the water level has been right up to here and you can see where it's trapped all the, the peat and the vegetation. So this is really good because otherwise that peat would have been washed away down into the reservoirs and into the drinking water system. This is a plastic dam. It's made from sheets of corrugated plastic which are driven a metre down into the peat. We use plastic dams to hold the water on the moorlands as it creates a diverse habitat for moorland wading birds, mosses such as sphagnum and other water loving plants. This is a stone dam. It's made from local sandstone which we bring up onto the moorland by helicopter. We place them in the deep eroding gullies. The stone dam acts like a big sieve and it's filtering out all the peat and all the mud, trapping it behind the dam and letting cleaner, clearer water come out behind the dam. 